Hi Grimsters, it's Andy from The Car Boutique and another accessory review, okay, going on with that little um, um, sort of um, range of accessories, okay, so we looked at buckets and all that kind of stuff, okay, this time we're going to be looking at these three, but before I get to the exciting bit, okay, a quick bit about the company that supplied this, so Clay Cloth Company, um, They've been in existence since October, sorry, August 2014, where they initially, uh, initially launched their clay cloths and their clay mitts, um, essentially as an alternative to the traditional clay bar, and because that was their sort of first product that they launched, hence the name, the Clay Cloth Company. Okay, but there's more to the company than that. Indeed, they have an entire product range, okay, of detailing and valeting products. Okay, a lot of them you do see on, on the car boutique, um, quite a lot of their followers um, are on the group, which is nice. Now, um, sort of um, compliments where they're due. Um, the whole reason why I'm here and the whole reason why the channel has been a success, okay, ultimately it goes right back to three or four years ago. Um, I posted on a detailing um, um, Facebook group that I needed some stuff and I can't remember what it was. Let's just say tire and glue. In fact, no, it was snow foam. It was snow foam, if memory serves. Um, and one of the guys from Clay Cloth co um, Company um, invited me around to his house. Okay, we did some demos, looked at some stuff, and I walked away with some snow foam. And as a result, um, um, ever since that engagement has been there. Okay, so um, they're sort of um, the USP, their unique selling point is sort of um, perfection made simple. And what they do is they try and offer their customers something a bit different from the mainstream. So they don't just listen to trend, they don't just go out and buy okay, the latest brands that are on trend. They try and uh, resource their product lines with something a bit different. Hence, hence why some of the products or the brands you may possibly not have heard of. Okay, now that doesn't mean there are any less. Okay, these guys go out, okay, they engage with a lot of companies and they um, offer value but mixed with performance, which is what's really, really good. Okay, so um, let's say they're a British-based company, um, and um, let's say uh, they've, they've um, been very supportive of the channel. Incidentally, our YouTube channel, the actual framework, okay, was set up by one of the guys from the Clay Cloth, Cloth Company as well, okay, um, because they want to see us expand. They like what we do, all right, and hence why now all our videos are uploaded to YouTube where we can um, sort of view them, or you can view them on HD, which is really good. So thumbs up and thank you very much. Okay, saying that, all the product reviews we do for Clay, Clay, Clay Cloth Company get exactly the same scrutiny as everyone else, all right? And we do have feedback, um, positive, not so much negative. There's been a few sort of recommendations that we've made and they listen to it just like all the other brands that we um, engage with, which is good. And I think maintaining that independence is so important. Okay, so quick look at what they do, okay? They do their own product range. Um, I always buy bulk, all right? So they've got sort of three three sort of lines. They've got their own brand, the Clay Cloth Company brand. They've got Tenzi um, UK, Tenzi products and Killer Wax. Now, Clay Cloth Company stuff is, is really good. Um, Devil's Mist fallout remover is fantastic. The detailing spray and waterless valet. I've been using this for three or four years. You can use this for anything as a drying aid, as a wax top up, as a clay lube. It smells lovely. It doesn't smear. It's, it's an, uh, an all round good egg, as they say. Um, Tar and glue remover. Um, I get a bit bored of people on other Facebook groups saying what's the best tar and glue, TARDIS. Okay, this stuff is equally, if not better, as TARDIS. Um, otherwise, I won't, wouldn't be using it and I wouldn't have bought five litres of the stuff. Fantastic stuff, really potent. They do smaller stuff as well, okay, um, in, um, in sort of the sort of half litre and, and, the, and the smaller um, sort of tubs and bottles, so you, you buy what you need. Air fresheners. And as you know, we've already reviewed in our battle of the snow foam lances. We looked at their, their snow foam lance, okay, which um, did very, very well. 25 quid. Boom. Okay. And more recently, we did their, their trigger gun. Okay. And this has been connected onto my Karcher ever since. All right. I'm lying because it's disconnected now just to show you because I didn't want trailing cables and everything. So their quick release trigger, okay, with their five nozzle piece. All right. Which all goes part of the system. I'm going to explain that when we come on to the actual product range itself. So the next range they do is, I've just got a, a quick selection, is Tenzi. They're a Polish brand, okay, and they do some high performance, very affordable products. They've got their more, more sort of domestic commercial line and they've got a pro detailing line as well. I love the pro detailing line. I think it's super potent, well presented, well marketed products that do what they say on the tin. Just a quick uh, sort of look at what they've got here. Um, RLS, which is their ceramic quartz reloader. They do all the cleaning stuff like IPA. Um, leather cleaners, leather conditioners, various ceramic coatings from a sort of home use to professional standard, clay sprays, wet waxes, and all that kind of stuff. 
they've got a huge range and they do sort of their domestic hotel cleaning products as well. So they know their stuff, they know their chemicals. So that's Tenzi. The other one that they do, um, Clay Clock Company do, and I believe they still got, got the sole UK distribution rights for Killer Wax. Um, so that's the only place you can go into the UK to get it is the Killer Wax range. And I absolutely love their stuff. You're paying a bit more. It's more of a, um, a premium brand and they've got to physically get it from America. So that induces costs itself, but it's still competitively priced in relation to what else is out there. So we've got tire gels, we've got S um, ceramic graphene shampoos, um, ceramic graphene, ceramic coating sprays. Northern Lights, Pace Wax, love that stuff. Um, I think it came second in the Battle of the Back Waxes. Um, and it only, only came second, if I can recall, because some people thought the tin was a bit sort of um, not as modern, but in terms of performance, um, first place. Um, they do compounds, polishes, paint sealants, color enhancing waxes, liquid waxes, hard waxes. Um, and they've just gone into ceramic coating with their triple X from Killer, Rain, Killer Wax range as well. OK, so they're the main three. Now, a lot of people sort of say, well, Clay Cloth Company's own brand is their sort of budget one. Tenzi the middle, Killer Wax. I don't see it like that. Like I said, um, I think they, they're all high performance. Um, like I say, I use their tar and glue because I think it outperforms pretty much all the other ones on the market. So that there is a market leader in my, my eyes. Okay, so when we did the review on this one, I'm going to provide links to um, what we did on that one. Okay, and I'm also going to provide links on the, the trigger gun as well, because you'll naturally see when we come on to reviewing the um, accessory today, they all work really well together. So uh, let's go and have a look at the actual item in question. Okay, guys, so we're going to start looking at the actual um, accessory we're reviewing today, which is um, these three. So these are the, the clay cloth companies quarter inch so it's all part of that quick disconnect system and um, pressure washer extension ones three piece <clears throat> okay so you get three items all right each one of these around about um 12 14 inches 35 centimeters okay and the combined weight is and i took it inside wales flash the picture um, off all three is just over 500 grams okay so um, I'm going to discuss the impact of that that weight a bit later on because you have to factor that weight in when you've got all three connected up okay into how you physically use these all right so it's quite important but I'll explain all that later okay the actual construction and um, they're very very good quality and um, hence they're slightly um, sort of heavier um, stainless steel and brass fittings all right so they're sort of designed with anti-corrosion in mind the only bit I did notice is this sort of nut around here um, I don't know whether it's non stainless steel um, but I think the sort of the coating has just started to fail a tiny little bit and there's a tiny bit of corrosion but that might be because I've, I've knocked it and taken the coating off so that might be my fault okay so just keep an eye on that and um, but I did dip these in water and leave them um, out so I deliberately tried to force corrosion and um, everything else on it is perfect i just think i've hit that and dented it and it's broke the actual um i think it's got some kind of anti-corrosion um on it um, and it's just um let some um corrosion in there okay that's probably my fault that's me being open and honest you've got two straight pieces okay and you've got one um, piece with a 90 degree bend on it all right i'm going to see how we can use that okay in predominantly car detailing but in dom domestic home use as well because the um sort of uses are pretty much limited um to your own imagination okay so and the beauty of these um, quick um, releases is no screwing and unscrewing and all that all that kind of stuff um, which is good now you reviewed this one which is their, their trigger gun and as you see the, the quarter inch and um, quick release system is so good and um, you get five of these in this one I'll post the link okay and it's 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 nice and easy all right now the beauty of these is you can sort of chop and change as to how you want to use these all right so you can put one in okay and then put your nozzle on so that gives you extension I actually like that, okay, because you can still use it one-handed, all right, and it just gives a bit, a bit of separation between yourself, okay, and the spray. Now, most pressure washers like Karcher's used to come with a big long um, sort of lance, which is good because it sort of keeps it away from the spray. These shorter um, sort of trigger um, guns on their own, excuse me, what's up about that? on their own naturally bring you closer to where the water is so this sort of compensates for that potential disadvantage of using these all right okay but you can use these as as you will okay you can then if you want further extension it's so easy okay at this point supporting hand i'll explain that a bit later and then ultimately if you want the full extension you go like that and you've got well over a meter sorry about that postman turned up how rude I said he actually looked at me and thought some kind of weirdo okay video cameraing and um, with all this stuff out in the driveway okay but hey ho 
Okay, well, this is what we do. It's our bag. Okay, so where were we? So we were looking at the full extension. All right, cool. Now, what I've seen some people doing is <coughs> using extension bars and then putting this um, on the end. Okay, you can do it. Okay, you can do it, but it's that as soon as you go past the first extension, okay, you are putting a supporting hand there. I can see why people are doing that, okay, because maybe they've got a larger vehicle and it's that, that separation again. All right, but I don't personally see any real value in doing that. Um, when it comes to the actual snow foam cannon, okay, maybe one extension if you're that way inclined. Okay, see how easy it is to use. All right, that's nice and easy to use. Um, my personal preference when I'm using it is to not use extension, okay, and just go straight like that, okay, because it's nice and easy. The more sort of distance you put, the more weight on, you are ultimately putting more pressure on that, okay, so always support, your, if you're putting anything on that's got length, okay, give it a supporting hand. It sounds even ruder, doesn't it? Okay, you know what I'm saying, all right. Cool, right, just gonna wait for this aircraft to uh, go away. Bloody RAF. I'm not gonna edit this one out. What should we talk about? Global warming? No. Silence, okie dokie, right. So, we had a look at the description. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna play some music, all right? We're gonna wash the car and I'm gonna take little snippets of videos of us using that, which obviously visually um, indicate to you um, where I see these fitting into your detailing program. You're not always gonna use them, okay? But they definitely have a, a place relative to what you're doing, okay? And the size of the vehicle, because these um, are very, very good at large vehicles like um, SUVs, caravans, and all that kind of stuff. But you could use it on anything, and I'll show you that. Uh, we're going to be using it looking at a, a sort of a four wheel drive sort of SUV vehicle, okay? And then um, we'll have a chat, okay? And then we're going to have a look at sort of domestic applications and take it from there. So uh, let's go and have a play. Okay guys, we've finished detailing the car. Let's move into the domestic stroke gardening arena.
Okay guys, that says finished testing. Okay, so um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll be honest, when I first got sent these, I was questioning whether I needed them in my life. Okay, but it's it, well, those kind of things that um, you only sort of evaluate it and really identify an internal need once you've tried it. Um, so I was skeptical at the start, but I really enjoyed using these. I can see some real benefit, not so much the domestic side, really in terms of detailing. Now, I've obviously disconnected this, but this extension with a nozzle, it just felt natural. Okay, I, I, I actually liked being slightly further away um, from the vehicle. Um, I'm not sure if it's my imagination, but the pressure seemed to be a bit higher. It possibly wasn't because it's the same nozzle off the trigger gun. Okay, but it just seemed to. Okay, I, I'm sort of um, guessing on that one. But I'm going to start using that extension piece. I prefer that to just the gun on its own. All right, so I like that. Now, in terms of doing the sills and the wheel arches, definitely, definitely made an improvement. The one thing I will just say is when you're doing the sills and you've got it like that, okay, when you really pull the trigger, okay, it does kick back, okay, because you're engaging all that pressure. So if you've got the nozzle sort of pointing up, just put your hand underneath it to control the sort of kickback and then you can nice easily, uh, you can control it easier. Same again, if you're sort of doing the gutters like that, the natural reaction is it to go like that. So just have your hand there, okay, control it when you actually engage the water through the um, pressure washer, okay, and it's nice and easy to control, okay. And I say, you don't really want to be doing this one-handed, okay, control it with the other one because there is, you know, 500 grams, okay, of, of weight there, okay, so really, really nice. Now, all this away. So it's, it's another good product, okay, from the clay cloth company. Um, it naturally complements their trigger and their snow foam. Um, suggestion to them, maybe do a package deal where you get the snow foam cannon, the trigger, the extension ones, and maybe throw in some snow foam. Might be an idea, but, because I like the fact that they're all sort of designed together, okay, with this quarter inch release. Now, yes, you could use other brands, okay, but I've shown you that they all work harmoniously. And no doubt when Clay Cloth were testing the snow foam and testing these extension ones, they used it with their existing stuff, so it all blends and works together in a perfect marriage. Okay, so um, if you are ordering this from Claycloth Company, um, remember the discount code, get you some pennies off, okay? And uh, you'll see me using these in future videos. So uh, take care.